try to avoid those necklines. So three pieces when you do your body. Whether the model's laying down, standing, so same three pieces. Hips down the legs, torso, neck and head. Works great all the time. Served eight and a half years in the United States Army active duty, was a photographer, spent three of those years in Germany, two of those years doing the drug war down Central South America, back in the Pablo Escobar days. Had nothing to do with those thousands of guys, if anybody here's related to him. I've uh, photographed many presidents, most recently Senator Clinton. I met Peter about four years ago and told him I loved this product. I had been introduced to it by a great photographer out of Los Angeles and wanted to get involved with California Sun Bounce. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. So we'll get to use that out here. I use the heck out of it, both indoors and outdoors. Don't think it's just an outdoor product. You can use it indoor beautifully. You see it in both of my books. One of the techniques that we're also using here, we're using a California Sunbounce Sun Swatter. It's very portable, so I don't have to set up a big scrim with a bunch of sandbags and stands. One assistant can handhold it real comfortably, even in the windy conditions that we face here. The wind just goes right through it, it doesn't even really move. We're using a one-third f-stop fabric. There's different fabrics, but we're using the one-third because I do want some of that sun to give me the shine and the stars with the scarf and the acrimants on the costume that she's wearing. The one-third stop takes just enough of the harshness at this time of the day, which is really the wrong time of the day to be shooting, but with the sun swatter we're able to do that, especially since we're overpowering the sun and we're going up to F22. Normally the sun here would be F16, and it just creates a brilliant effect.